Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of 1862 Railway Mania in the Eastern Counties. It's from GMT Games. This is a uh, 18xx game that uh, features, uh, believe it or not, a solo mode. So I'm interested in that because uh, they're usually uh, multiple players. So um, how this works, we will find out. Well, we will find out in this video, but we'll find it down the road anyway. It's one of GMT's big boxes. This is a heavy, heavy box. And this is one of the heaviest ones I've seen in quite some time from them. So let's crack open the shrink and see what comes inside. You'll see it's listed that there is a, uh, it's a two to five hour game and it features one to eight players. So that's pretty awesome. And solitaire suitability it says it's medium, but it does have uh, a solo, I don't know if it's bots per se or what, but we're going to find out here. Let's crack it open. So I played one other 18xx game uh, with a solo mode. That was 18 Lilliput, which is kind of like uh, based in the uh, Jonathan Swift, um, Gulliver's Travels kind of era. And uh, so that was pretty fun. So this is a more meaty version. Or addition. Wow. It's huge. Well, it looks like we had some stuff coming apart here in shipping. But we will take a look at what you get. So we have, oh, it looked to be some uh, director's share uh, decks. Felix, Felix Stowe Dock. Probably a few of those. It's a small deck. Here's some more. Bigger deck, Yarmouth and Norwich Railway. These small decks, so there's some more FDRs. All right. Shares, I believe. So it's nice that they're little cards. Another deck of cards. Some rules, these must be the uh, more of the. Uh, uh, Player aid type card. So our money came loose, and the money is actually nice. It's paper money, but it is thicker. Uh, it's not like Monopoly money where it's real thin. So it's more like cardstock than uh, paper. So we have two pound notes. This is the Eastern Counties uh, in the UK, I believe. Uh, probably we'll find out in Norfolk, so it's probably Great Britain. So we have. Tens, or twos, tens, fives, twenties, fifties, hundreds, singles, and five hundreds. It's been a while since I've played Monopoly, but I don't believe they're the same colors. They're a uh, different, different palette uh, and more cards. And then we've got two of those tokens. We've got an elephant, nice wood meeple, and then a marker. It's very unusual to see GMT ship. You know, it's got some loose items in here. Even their dice are usually bagged, so it's interesting. And then we've got our uh, railway cards. Looks like we're going to open these. Oh, these are the companies I believe you can work with, Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway, Northern and Eastern, the Felix Stowe Dockin Railway, we already saw them, Newmarket, Great Chesterfield, so it's got spaces to put your permits, your shares, treasury trains, let me check the other side here, uh, it's a non-chartered company on one side, Chartered company on the others. So there seems to be quite a few of these. This is where they all are here. They're also the kind of glossy cardstock, standard GMT fair. Like uh, your normal player aid cards would come in in a GMT game. So quite a few of those. And we'll just keep building our stack here. We've got the rules of play. 
bring that out. And it is the paper stock. It is full color with examples. Fox in it uh, with design notes, 24 pages. It's on the new edition, acknowledgements. Designs by Mike Hutton. So I'm very interested in this one here. So rules to get a rules of playbook. And then a sheet, just a single sheet with the solo rules for the Eastern counties. Um, gives us how to set up, how to handle the stock rounds, putting the company out of the game. Operating rounds, end of the game. Special thanks to Lyndon Gurr, who helped develop the solar rules. So thank you, Lyndon, for bringing this game to a soloist. So it seems like this was thrown in. Not, not, not a thrown on kind of thing. Obviously, he invested a lot of time into designing it, but uh, you know, it's not in the book. So uh, kind of disappointing they threw it on just regular paper instead of on you know, card stop play raid, but it is what it is. So we do have play raid cards here. We've got, uh, probably gonna have eight of them, but we'll have eight players. As of right now, there's two that I've come across. Maybe you pass them around, or maybe there's some more buried down here. Two play raid cards so far. And then some cardboard, that's probably what's making up the bulk of this weight. And it is, because we've got lots of sheets here. Thick GMT, their new style of thick counters. Got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve sheets. And I could have just read the last sheet and seen that there were, well, no, because it says sheet four front, sheet one, sheet seven. They weren't in order. Nope, and there's sheet two. So you got, uh, start from the scratch here. You get sheets of uh, railroad uh, tiles and they have front and the backs are plain. And if you played uh, before, it's, these are the tracks and how you're going to set them up and stations can go in certain places and obviously the one I played is a lot less complex but still pretty fun. So you got, this looks like eight sheets of various train tr station options here. At least four sheets of counters. And they are pretty nicely registered. And then whether it matters or not, these are double-sided and these are not. Oop, and they punch pretty easily. So they're pre-rounded. That one just came right out. Nice thick counters. Uh, and then we got these train permits that are on the side of each one. And then warranties and more train permits. And then player order tokens, certificate limits rule, adjustments, things like that. So four sheets of counters, eight sheets of train tiles. And then we got our game board, freshly, freshly bagged. So even though you're going to punch a lot of this cardboard, you're going to end up with a lot of weight still in the box. So it's a good thing they gave you the big three inch deep box. All right, so let's see, get this out real quick, take a look at it. There is a a six panel game board. I'm not going to be able to show it to you all on camera here, but I'll try to zoom some of it in so you can see. This looks like it's a playing field map area here, and then, you know, various functional maps on the side. Let me get it open here without breaking it. All right. 
1862. These are trains located. You got the bank pool. Midlands, the west on the map. So, if you pick up this copy, not this copy because it's my copy, but if you pick up your copy of 1862, the railway mania in the eastern counties, you are going to get a game board. You're going to get four sheets of tokens. Eight sheets of train hexes to lay out. You're gonna get two, you're only gonna get two player aids, so I guess you gotta share if you're playing with eight players. You are going to get a paper, solar rules, 24 page rule book, stacks and stacks of fake money. An elephant token. A red marker. Railway cards, this company cards, and then stacks of certificates for the various stocks and shares that you own, as well as the different trains you can purchase to run your little railway. So I guess little railway would have been the Lilliputian railway. So and then these kind of reference cards, I believe, because you can see it says what happens in a normal game. All right, so on and so forth. So, let's see there. So that is what comes in 1862. Excuse the game from GMT Games. And there you go. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye bye. Oh.